Good evening and a very warm welcome to Ending the Day with God on Saturday the 9th of July. Our opening music was an arrangement of Creator of the Stars of Night by Gabriel Jackson. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, Creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. This evening's reading comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah, verses from chapter 5. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad, the desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp, the grass shall become reeds and rushes. Thanks be to God. From the west coast to the east coast of the broadest part of Africa, south of the Sahara, more than 20 countries and as many development bodies are creating the Great Green Wall. This is an area of reforestation and environmental restoration that will hold back desertification. It will also reduce carbon emissions and bring food security to millions. The idea of greening the desert is not new. Thousands of years ago, Isaiah pictured the desert being transformed into lush, well-watered, productive land. This is not just a promise of spiritual fertility, but of real physical transformation of the world we know. The New Jerusalem, pictured in Revelation 21, is a garden city with a broad river running through it, bordered by fruitful trees whose very leaves are a source of blessing. Somebody once wrote, God works through stuff. If matter didn't matter, would God have made so much of it? The desert fathers live lives of great austerity and self-denial. We may think they were turning their backs on the material world. However, they did so not only to destroy their worst impulses, but also in the hope of the restoration of all things in the kingdom of God. Hypericus told his disciples, follow the gentleness of Moses and hollow out the rocky places of your heart so that you turn them into springs of water. Matthew chapter 6, therefore do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. We're now going to join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love which never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light. Even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Redeemer. Amen. Protect us through the hours of this night, be they silent or stormy, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of a restless world may rest upon you eternally. You created the world out of love. Now we return to you in love. Let us rest in God this night and awake to newness of life.